Yo, what's going on my boils and ghouls and welcome or welcome back. Don't know if there's any new people here. If there are new people here, you're on the wrong episode. Gonna have to backtrack. Now is your final warning to get off this episode. If you missed any of the previous episodes because you don't want to miss any of this series, man. Like seriously, this has been an absolute wild adventure. But all right, anyway, done gawking already. My name is Bebop Gaming. And Killer Frequency is the game of the day. And you guys, we're in for a wild ride. And I'm going to leave it at that. You know what? No, no, no. No recap, no nothing. We're just hopping right into this. This is the finale to Killer Frequency. Right here, right now, I am beating this game. No matter how long it takes. So you guys, if you enjoy the video, hit that thumbs up. I am determined to beat this game. I'm enjoying this way too much, but I want to see the finale, okay? So, here we go. If you enjoy the video, hit that thumbs up. If you're new around here and you want to see more content like this, hit that subscribe button. But without further ado, and before I stutter yet again for this intro, oh, let's hop into it! Let's roll. You got it. We've got another call coming through, too. Time to turn the music off. I don't think I'm ever not going to remember to turn that off. Welcome back to 189.6. I want to fix Bender. I believe we have another caller on the line. How are you tonight, caller? Ores, it's me, Roller Ricky. Oh, and Maxie's here too. Oh. Oh. Uh, good to hear from you again. How are you both doing? Oh, we're good, man. Thanks to you. You're like our guardian angel. That wouldn't be a bad look for you, Forrest. A little white wing halo number. Oh, Jesus Maybe something Christ. for the KFAM Halloween party. All right, everyone, let's calm How down. About no. Ricky, I'm just glad we could help you and Maxie. Is there anything else we can help you with, Ricky? Actually, I think I have some info that might help you. Oh? Oh my God! So it actually pans out that we saved him. You've... Okay. Did you, what do you see got? or hear anything during the attack earlier? Not exactly. You see, man, uh, me and Jason know each other. You know each other? What? Yeah, we went to Gallus High and played on the football team together. He was a gnarly offensive linesman, and I was our star wide receiver. Runner Ricky, they called me. All right, and what does that have to do with tonight? Okay, well, so they got a connection. George, the guy who drowned, he was on our team, too. Oh? Wait, so you knew him. What happened? We had our first team party on the night he drowned. He seemed like such a good dude. Ricky, oh. were you there when George drowned? No, man. Okay. Once the party turned, I beat feet out of there. Man, I remember George and his girl there. There was a whole lot of love, man. I could see it, you know? Wait a minute. Ricky, listen, this is very important. I need to know everything about her. I didn't really know her before, or see her after that. I never even got her name, man. I just remember he called her Bean. Then what did she look like? Please, tell us anything you Bean remember. Bean is Dawn. I just remember a pretty girl, man. I'm sorry. Brunette, Ricky, blonde, you said redhead, the party didn't what? Last long. What happened? We were... Just having a good time, and then the next thing I knew, everyone was running for their life. I looked up and saw a goddamn whistling man in the trees. And what? And I never ran so fast in my life. I ran straight home. Didn't know about George until next morning. At school. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm guessing it was whistling night, wasn't it? That the whistling man was just another kid. Yeah. I don't know how George died, but uh, I always felt like if anyone deserved to die that night, it should have been me. And why? Don't Ricky, tell me you got a guilty conscience. Wasn't your fault. You're not a bad person. I know that now, ma'am. Took a long time to learn, but yeah, just thought I'd tell you all what I know. Thank you, Ricky. This helps. Thank you. 
You got it, man. Anyway, I think it's time for me and Maxie to free up your phone lines. Thanks for listening, man. I'll let you to it. Ah! Night, Ricky. All right, say folks. nice to Maxi. Looks like we got a new lead in the case. If anyone has any info about this mysterious bean, please call in. If she was George's girlfriend back then, she's probably in her mid to late thirties now. Huh. Oh, we have another call coming in. She's but... gotta be. She's gotta be the killer then. So What's it's up, not buddy? a ghost. It's the ex-girlfriend. Peggy. But you're gonna want to take this call off the air. Who is it? Oh. Just do it. All right, folks. It's time for another track. Here's one to help you sit back and relax. We'll be right back after this. Uh, you know what? Screw. We'll throw a new song on. Here comes That's... one of my favorites. Uh, my... I hope this is good news, Peggy. Who have we got? Find out for yourself on line one. Hello? Forrest, I'm glad <gasps> I got back through to you. No How way! Busy night, huh? Surprise! It's Leslie, our 911 operator. Taking <laughs> the charge from Henderson to come save us. It's so good to hear from you. Are you okay? We're doing okay. Sorry. Yeah, I don't announce this. We're happy to have you too. I... Wait, Sara? Oh, yeah, I mean Deputy Martinez. <laughs> anyway, we got back into radio range a little while ago. We've been listening in, but haven't been able to get through until now. Dude, this has been some job you left me. I'm just saying. Ever since you found Sheriff Matthews, it's only gotten worse. It's been a long night. Well, it shouldn't be too much longer now. I'm glad I got through to you. I wanted to let you all know what's going on. I made it to Henderson. Turns out somebody had cut the phone lines, and they had no idea what was happening. After I told them, well, their sheriff sent a goddamn squad back with me to stop this. Yes! That's great news! That's crazy about the phone lines, though. Do you think the whistling man cut them? Yep. I'm guessing so. I don't know how he... How she... How the whistling man did it. How it but that did doesn't it. Matter right now. Dun, Listen, dun, we're coming dun, in hot, Penny Morris. I know Gallows Creek isn't a big town, but if we don't know where the whistling man is, we can't get him. Her. True. That's where you come in. Uh, wait, will you. What do you. I. What do you mean? What do we do? You like, can count on us. What do you need? It might be a long shot. But here goes. The whistling man already called up a few times. Right. I bet she calls again. We're still a little ways out of town, so if she calls, stall her. Buy as much time as you can for us to get in. And while you're talking to her, try to figure out where she is. We'll be listening in, so once her location is known, we'll head straight there and end this nightmare. Nice. Okay. That sounds easy. I know you will. Heck, I can see the headlines now. Forrest Nash's interview of a lifetime. <laughs> anyway, I'll radio the other cars and tell them the plan is a go. Weekend of my first job. Oh, <laughs> my new you, job. With our killer behind bars. <laughs> Take care now. We'll see you soon, Leslie. Oh, thank God. It sounds like this is almost over. We're nearly through this. Dude, I can't believe this. Are we really at the end like this? Okay, let's do this, dude. I hope you're right. The sooner this is over, the better. The better. I am right. Trust me. Anyway, we should get you back on air. I'm just too Taking good at this. Is the only way to see this through. Okay, Forrest, shut the music off. Yep, let's Bringing do this. You back live now. Welcome back to the scream with me. This has been Forrest chaos, Nash. though. The line is lit up, but before I get to our next caller, I just want to say things are looking up. It's almost over, but for now, let's bring in our next caller. Let's leave it at that, Forrest. Evening, Don't caller. say anymore. This is Forrest Nash. Hello, Forrest. 
This is John Hedges. I'm here with Casey. I wanted to give you an update on Jason. John! Is, is he gonna be okay? He's a fighter. He'll be fine. We've got him stabilized and resting in a bed. Wait, what's his name? We're preparing to move him to the hospital. Thank you so much! If you hadn't been there, then... God, I don't even want to think about what would've happened. Of course, Casey. We're just happy he's okay. John, Casey, you two did all the work. The guy's Jason, Jason right? Well, soon from us. Whenever he's up for it. Well, why don't you tell him yourself? Is this Forrest? Yep, it's Jason. Okay. I heard oh, Casey and it threw only. me off. I hope you're feeling better. It's good to hear you, Jason. How are you? Oh, well, you know. I've got a hole in my stomach. And there's a knife in my leg. But <laughs> John gave me something to take the edge off. So... I might feel even better than either of you. <laughs> <coughs> Take it Poor easy guy. until you get to St. Gabriel's. I will. But uh, before that, I, I needed to call you. I'm guessing the whistling man is still out there? Yes. Do you... Oh. Is he going to fess yes, up? Yes, the whistling man's still out there. Why do you ask? You know something about the Whistling Man, don't you? Yeah. I do. Can we talk about what happened earlier? Oh, shit. Here we go. We spoke okay. to Roller Ricky not long after you were attacked. You spoke to Ricky? Was he... Is he alright? He is now. I He's mean, good. he was attacked earlier, but... This call came after. Hey, guys, I'm really sorry, but there's a call on the other line. I just need to make sure we don't have another situation brewing. You fill Jason in on what happened. I'll be right back. Sure, Peggy. Sorry, Jason. Uh, where was I? Ah, yep. Ricky's fine. You don't need to worry about him. That's a relief. He told us about George. Sounds like everything's finally coming out now. It's been tough to hold it all in. Sounds like you've been holding back about something awful, Jason. I'm part of the reason my best friend is dead, Forrest. And the few who knew about it said if I ever said anything, I'd find myself in jail for a long time. It was hell. And then the town just moved on. Like he'd never existed. Peggy's been on the phone for a minute. It's kind of sus that she's still on the phone and hasn't said anything to interrupt. Who killed George that night? <sighs> Some of the guys on the football team had an idea for a way we could haze the newcomers. It's got to be one of those guys. The woods and have the whistling man crash it. It was stupid. Can't be true. We each had a role. I was the stabbed friend. At the party that night, I left the group for a second. Met our whistling man. Tended to get stabbed in front of everyone. She's still on the phone. Started an almighty panic. Those screams. That was the last time I saw or heard George alive. How did George die, Jason? I don't know. I was playing dead. What are you doing? But when I heard her scream. Ricky mentioned a girl named Bean. Is that who you mean? Bean. Oh, convenient. As yeah. soon as I come over. I guess George Sus. did call her that. Yeah. He called her Bean. I heard her again tonight, Forrest. Wait. Her name was... What? Huh? What happened? No. We're no! No, we're not. How do we get it back on? An emergency broadcast? This is so stupid. Why are we yelling? Just walk out, Peggy. Fair point. Oh, I did see that.
Peggy, this is like the most opportune moment for you to come out and reveal to all of us what you look like. The power's off. <sighs> Alright, fine. Shot in the dark, then. Alright, you know what, Bender? You're in charge. Keep an eye on Peggy. Peggy, I'm a little sus of you. What was your phone call? She never said anything about that. I don't get it. She's high. I feel like she's... Oh, I can't... Can I not go up here? No, did I miss something? I think I missed something. Damn! Anyway, I think she's hiding something. Because why would she not bring up the phone call? Okay, where... I think this way... Oh my... M something, M something. Whose name starts Far with- Far back corner. Why is this station so big? I actually don't think it's that big as a matter of fact. I've been in a few radio stations. They're a little bigger than this. No, actually I'm lying. I'm in a storage facility in a radio station. That must be it. Boom! Uh, We've got power. Oh no! How? I'm whistling man. I need to warn Peggy. <gasps> Shit! How did you get in? I oh no! I gotta get out of here. I'm terrified. I'm scared. I'm just gonna run into him. Or her. Peggy! Peggy, are you there? Are you... Peggy! I need to get back upstairs. Fuck, she didn't answer, dude. You gotta be kidding me. How did he get in? Or she? It? How did it get in? I'm just calling it. 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 It, 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 it. Sorry, I'm stuttering now. Whoa! Did I just catch on the door? Oh my god, that scared me. If I missed an actual jump scare, I have no idea what I missed. Please tell me there's nothing over here. Okay! We're okay. Peggy! Hello? Someone in here? Hello? Whistling man. Please don't be in the potty. Wait. Oh no. No! Peggy! Where'd you go? Oh, what the fuck? Holy shit! No He's here! This can't be happening. Oh my god. How? Where's Peggy, Don? Have some patience, Forrest. It's almost the end of the night. Wait, that's almost Dawn? the end of the show. But it's not over just yet. No, it's not. It's a little time still. So let's make the most of it. Is it? No, it can't be. They didn't have, like, earpieces in that back. What do you mean? Make the most of it how? Well... Huh? I thought we'd end tonight's Whistling Man special with a special guest. The one who started it all. Oh, let me take that out of your mouth and... You crazy bitch! Let me go! The mayor! Here, Mr. Teddy Gallows Jr. Wait. Oh my yeah, god, he did it! Years ago. I was just thinking, it had to be someone with power! Wait, wait. Connections! How, how are you talking to him if you're here with me? Because I'm not there with you, Forrest. I knew it. I'm here with Teddy. And if he says where that is, well, he knows I was right about my freaking theory! It's the Scream 
They're giving us the scream Wait, treatment. Me. There's two of them. Who am I looking at? Forrest Nash, let me introduce you and all of Gallant's Creek to my boy, Henry Barrow. Holy shit, she had a kid. Your son? You mean you... Wait, with, with he? Yes, Forrest. He and I had a son. So there were two whistling men tonight. Of course. That makes that sense. That's how he got out. He was able to get around town so quickly. And that's how you escaped the secret archives in the newspaper office. Don't think I've forgotten about that, Forrest. Locking my sweet boy away like an animal. Hang on. Did you say Barrel? That... Are you... Let me just get this mask off. <sighs> Damn uncomfortable thing. No wonder Mooney went crazy wearing this. Dude, this is insane. <sighs> there we go. Marie? Marie Campbell? George's old girl. Oh. Well, Why does that name sound sure familiar? has been years since I last saw her. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> Dumbass. Look at him just chilling there. Jesus Christ, move! Fine. He's just gonna stand there. Menacingly! Alright, anyway. Uh, let's go with this. Where are you going with all of this? Everyone's gonna know now what Teddy did. He killed George that night. This night. 20 years ago. Listen to me. You... Ah! You're gonna talk when I talk to you. Yeah, I was gonna Not say, you got before. no room to Meanwhile, Forrest, even butt in. I'm gonna give you the chance to talk. You're gonna help me reveal what really happened to George all those years ago. What? Well, I got her son here, and we don't know where she's at, though. We can nab one of them at least, but I gotta figure out where they are. Okay, Marie. I'll do it. Good. Then let's talk about the night I gotta George waste time. Murdered. Murdered? I gotta give time for uh, Leslie to try I... to get in here. <laughs> Jesus! I said you spoken to <sighs> now I know you've done some good work tonight in piecing together what happened to George 20 years ago and that's why I want you to interview us okay it's still wasting time it's given the police more time to come in here so I'm if gonna comply so, I'm not really in a position to argue I'm happy we have your cooperation do a good job and hell you might be the only Alive. Oh, it would have been funny if they out. gave us an option to run. If I can buy Leslie time to get back to Gallows Creek. That's and it. If I can find out where Marie is, then this can end. Teddy, we'll start with you. Just uh, talk me through what happened that night. How did it start? How would I know? It was 20 I'm years ago. I'm too good ago. at this. Oh, she ain't gonna like that answer. Okay, let's see. Teddy, be honest with me or we're both going to die. Honest? Forrest, I'm trapped here with a psycho. <coughs> you what the hell? <laughs> God damn it. Dumbass. Okay, our first team party was coming up. And when I saw the date, scheduled for I had an idea for a way we could prank the new guys so just something a little funny you know okay no biggie then what how can I it was the night Mooney the original whistling man vanished isn't that right that's right that hell seemed too perfect to pass up. I was just surprised 
no one had ever thought to do it before. Wait. You mean this was the first whistling night? I... Uh... Keep talking, Teddy. We went up near Whistling Point. Holy uh, crap. God. Who was there? Me? Jason, this asshole started a tradition. George, of course, uh, but George didn't come alone. He brought Marie. And Roller Ricky. He was there too, wasn't he? Yes. Yep. Ricky was there too. Runner Ricky. This is neat. wide receiver. I helped him off the bottle, you know. Because I'm a decent man. Is that so? Yes, it is. He came apart one day. Some people do. He had some issues. Wasn't stable. I didn't want it to hurt his the best of us, Teddy. So I stop acting all high and mighty while together. you're being fucking held captive. You were afraid he would talk about that night, weren't you? Keep talking. About midway through the night, we put the prank into action. We looked up at the trees and saw Jason there. Bloody, like he'd just been stabbed. And the whistling man. <laughs> Screaming. George and I and Ricky, we got left behind. But Ricky was in on it too. I know he was. He and Teddy were as close as anybody. Teddy must have told him the plan. No. Hold on. No, 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 no. You're not doing this to my boy, Ricky. Hold on. No, Marie, you're wrong. Ricky didn't know. What? Did you miss that part of the broadcast? I spoke to him earlier. He had no idea what was happening. He said he was as terrified as anybody. Isn't that right, Teddy? You didn't tell him, did you? Ricky never could keep his mouth shut. If we told him, he would have given everything away. So Ricky. that's why she went after oh. Ricky. It doesn't matter. He didn't run his mouth enough to tell anybody about it afterwards. He's still Aren't guilty. Back up? It was just a stupid prank. <sighs> okay, but this How prank. How can you still say it was just a prank? Oh, come on! I... Oh. God damn it! Honestly, you deserve that one. He thought his best friend was dead. And so tonight you stabbed him for real? It's the role he wanted to play. Jason's still alive, That's Marie. why she left him alive. Friend. We talked her through how to stop the bleeding and got him professional help just in time. Oh. The good sense to die earlier. He's gonna regret that. Enough of Oh him. no, she goofed up then. Took off running, but somehow we got separated in the woods. I ended up near the bottom of Whistling Point. And when I noticed George wasn't with me, I panicked. And then I don't know how he snuck up on me, but the whistling man grabs me. I scream, and he starts laughing. Telling me it's, it's just a joke. I can stall for time here. We've been doing a great job so far. We just got to keep it up. How did you feel in that moment? I felt like nothing was real. I felt small and confused. And... and tell me what happened next. Suddenly recognized it was Chuck. Chuck Brody was the whistling man laughing away. But then he stops and he's looking up at the top of Whistling Point. What was he looking at? <laughs> I know she's in her fields, but she's been murdering Dad. all night, you know. She what had time next? to work out her fields all night long. It was just Teddy. George fell off Whistling Point. Oh shit! So that's how he died. Oh. I gotta try to keep him alive too. Maybe. Happened? I saw it. You pushed him. 
No Ura. way. You were dressed as the Whistling Man too, and I didn't push him. God damn it! I just chased him up there, and he kept backing up. When I saw he was about to go over, I reached out. That's what you saw. You liar! It's not my fault. He didn't know it was a joke. If he'd had any brains, he would have realized. It was accidental manslaughter. Bitch. No one's going to believe this. After all you did. Wait. What? You're on the radio. What do you mean? <laughs> I have doubt. Oh, wait. No, that's right. I have 36 viewers. I have 36 listeners. Okay. The cops have to be closed by now. There's no way, man. This is so jacked, though. So basically, he fell off the cliff. It was She's accidental. Lying. Why the cover up? My future was at stake, Ash. You know what it's like. People like us are bred for bigger things. I'm going Bro. to be mayor of this town, Forrest. And then governor. And then, who knows? What happened that night was tragic. It should never have happened. But it was a mistake. It was just a stupid joke gone wrong. So my father sent Clive out to clean it up. Why should have left? Oh, that's why Clive was involved too. He wasn't a blip. Marie. His father covered it up from there. I searched for George's body all night, but... You never found his body, Marie? I looked all night. Jogger found him the next morning, washed up on the river. Instead of telling the truth, she lied. She said she found him in the reservoir. Our jazz runner, Sandra Sharp. Guess we'll never learn why she lied now. Everyone was in on it, Forrest. Even I really want to know why she report. did. Said George was drinking. That he just got himself into trouble. And fake report? I, I only heard the tapes. You'd be disgusted by it. For all it's worth, Virginia didn't have much of a choice. She had a sick sister whose treatments she couldn't afford. She played along with the gallows to save her sister's life. And her own. Even even still, she should have told the truth. I did my part. I tried everything I could think of. I even went to the newspaper, but no. That's right, Gil or, that guilt guilt her, bro. The story. <sighs> we'll take care of Maurice Russell later. There's always two sides of a story. <sighs> this is great, though. I'm wasting so much time. You've been through hell, Marie. I'm sorry. You've got no idea. Is she beating Teddy? This is the most intense stare down I've ever had, but the most lackluster. Wait a sec. Wait, the winning throw? Wait. Wait, hold on. Why are you moving now? Hold up. No, no, no. Oh, he's hiding. He's hiding behind my Martin. No, no, no. Bro, bro. What are you doing? Hey. You just chilling? Yeah? Looking at me like I'm a monkey in a zoo? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ah, ah, ah. Ooh, ooh. Uh, I'm sorry. I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, oh, shit. Anyway, where is Marie holding Teddy hostage? Oh god. I went full monkey. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Is this gonna make or break my run? Is going monkey bebop gonna break my run right now? No, bro, please. I kid you not. Oh.
Okay, so she said winning throw when he joined the football team. Winning throw. Uh, football field, I'm assuming. I want to say football field. I don't know. Your son over here is very distracting. Cool mess, though. Um, oh god, I kid you not. I'm gonna say football field, but I gotta say, this has been honestly, like, quite the unfold of just everything. The beans, just- You're at the football field. Jesus Christ! Forrest, you idiot! We're in the gym at Gallo Squeak High! I told you not to do that. Wait! <laughs> oh no. He's dead too now, isn't he? Oh, anyway, shit. I think that about wraps up the interview with Teddy. So. Marie? Where? Oh, my God. Wait, Peggy? Peggy? Teddy. Peggy. It's been so long what? since I've seen your face. I worried you wouldn't come. Bro, let me... What the hell? Forrest seems lost for words. Wanna explain? Uh. Earlier, while you were speaking to Jason... That's the phone call. call. Do you remember? Well, it was from Dawn. She said that my sister Marie was there that night George died. And that I should come to the gym for a reunion. And when you walked in, you found out that my sister is the, the whistling, whistling man. man. Good to see you too, Peggy. Why didn't you tell me any of it? She said that it was my last chance to see my sister. I knew if I told you, you'd try to stop me or come with me when we need you on the radio. And I just... That's... I'm sorry. This has to be... A lot for you. I just it's all literally unfolding for her on the spot. Like what just else can we do or say? One day. Disappeared. I was thrown out, Peggy. I begged mom and dad to do something about what happened that night. But did they care? No. They told me to stay quiet. They only cared when they learned I beat you, George. And and uh, Marie, I'm so sorry. I never knew. It's not your fault. Really, it's mom and dad I should be seeing right now. But since they're dead and gone, well... I'll have to settle for the next best thing. Wait, no. No, 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 no. You know it's not Peggy's fault. Hold on. That's it. I need to keep wasting more time. Wait. Is that why you went after that kid in the maze maze? Eugene Stein? That's right! Because his parents? That's right. Eugene's parents were there that night too. But they got themselves killed in a bus accident. Oh, Jesus Christ. And She's fucked only their up. child was left. Murray, please. Mom and Dad are gone, Peggy. Besides, you forgot me. Just like the rest. You forgot. Is there any way I could prove Peggy didn't forget Marie? Oh my god. I is there something in here? Hold on. Wait, I was I was messing around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait. I got this. Marie, Peggy never forgot about you. Keep your mouth shut. She kept a card from you. She she kept it here on her desk. What card? The card you made me for my eighth birthday. Ooh. Yeah, there's gotta be what some. Does it say then? Happy birthday, Peg. Now you're great and eight. Love, Em. I. Well, I. Henderson Police! Freeze! No! Oh my god! Henry! Get out of there! Peggy! Ah! We have one wounded, one dead, and we're. Don't come through here. Henderson Police! Freeze! Let me out! Leslie, Yo, is Chili you? Bender okay? I'm pretty bad, but we're here now. I'll be okay. Oh my god, I can't believe that worked! Hey, Zara! 
Holy I crap! Need for Peggy. She needs help. Now. We got here just in the nick of time. Where's Marie? She bolted right as we got here. The police are right on her heels. It won't be long now. It's over, Forrest. No way! <sighs> well, folks, it was a long night, but we made it through together. I'm gonna head off to go check on Peggy. This is Ben. Forrest Nash. I'm not doing the scream. Let's make tomorrow better. Okay, I should have done the scream for the outro. Oh my god, that was so bad. I should have just done his little jingle for the show. Oh my god. I think we... Dude, honestly, if I didn't think to look around, I think we would have lost Peggy if we didn't find that card. Oh my god, this blast in my ears. I'm gonna have to definitely turn down that audio. I hope to god this is not copyrighted. If I get strikes for this... Oh, hold on. Oh, so they're still chasing him down. What an iconic ending, dude. It's like early 2000s vibe for an ending. For the music choice, I should say. This was such a good game. I was determined to beat this. Oh, so these are all the people. This is everyone. Oh, wow. Stop. Tommy. Oh, so hold on. There's Teddy. So we only lost three. Oh my god, this is blasting my ears. I gotta pop off my headset a little bit. I feel like I'm shouting. Yeah, you know what? I'll take this. I'll take this ending. Three people out of an entire town. You know what? It's not the perfect ending that I wanted, but I'll still take it. We're about to get another announcement. I think that's it. Oh no. Freaking Pawnee, man. I know Forrest got ticked off with him, but this guy absolutely made the night, like, tolerable. I felt like it was the comedy relief that I needed. Because, honestly, some of this really did get extreme in just being behind the scenes, not actually being there to physically help out these people. It's kind of nerve-wracking, you know? They get him? Did they catch him? Who'd they catch? I really want to know... I want to know why Sandra covered up. That's one story that I'm not going to know unless I look it up. Negative. No sign of the suspect anywhere. No. They lost one of them. Well, guess I'm picking this up. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Every time the static comes in, I think there's another report. I'm not gonna be satisfied till I know, like, they're either captured or they escaped. I wanna know. Because if there's gonna be, like, a sequel or a prequel to this, I'm definitely down. Roller Ricky, man. Seth. Chuck. I can't believe we saved Chuck. 
These people are not at all how I pictured them. Jason, eh, yeah, Teddy looks like Mark Zuckerberg a bit. Wow, that's it. So we don't know. The last thing we hear is that they lost sight of them, so they got away. Wow, what a adventure, you guys. Honestly, if you stayed with me all the way to this point, all the way to the end, thank you. This honestly was an amazing little experience, you know? It takes a twist for horror games in a different direction, and I like that, you know? It started to feel like horror games were starting to get a little stale. So I I love this game. I'll say that much, and I hope you guys did too. But as always, if you did, thumbs up, thumbs down. If you like, dislike, subscribe if you're new and you want to see more. But otherwise, you guys, this is the finale to Killer Frequency. It absolutely blew me away. And, uh, yeah. I hope to catch you guys on our next little horror tale or, or little zombie adventure. Later.